Meanwhile, economist Harry Dent is making a dire prediction about the market next year. He says 2024 is going to bring, and I'm quoting him now, the biggest crash of our lifetime. Economist John Lonsky is here. What do you think of Dent's prediction? Well, I think it's a little bit over the top. It's a daring <laughs> prediction. I hope that, it is. Okay? Anyway. I hope so, too. I don't see yeah. any sign of that happening right now. But, you know, the longer we put off this, this correction, eventually we have to have some sort of slowdown or a mild recession to sort of like stop this rapid growth of, of consumer credit. we got to do something about those elevated prices in housing, the rents and whatnot. But even as the Fed is... is is reducing rates, and they say they're going to reduce well, it three times in 2024. I mean, isn't isn't that going to forestall a recession? It might well, might put it off even longer, but uh, won't it forestall? I got it? bad news because usually recessions appear after the Fed begins to cut rates. Okay, right. so it, I don't think the uh, forthcoming rate cuts will necessarily stave off an economic downturn. That may be asking too much. But when you when the rates come down, it come, becomes cheaper to borrow money. Companies can expand. Companies can use that cash in order to expand and, and hire more people. Doesn't that isn't that the opposite of a recession? Are they going to hire more people? Are they going to engage in more capital spending if Question. spending overall, if corporate but revenues are coming in well under expectations. That's the trick. How much longer can the U.S. consumer continue uh, to spend at a rate that seems to well out, uh, outpace the rate at which their incomes are growing? And, you know, you, uh, you sent me something about the uh, retirement uh, plans. Well, I, let, let me tell you specifically what we're going to talk about. Gen, Gen Xers say they're going to need over 1.1 million to retire, but most only expect to have about $660,000. That's a $451,000 difference, the largest wealth gap of any generation. So how do they make up for the lost time? Cut back on spending and Impossible. increase savings. That's all they could possibly do. And I don't know, uh, you know, when are they going to go ahead and make that type of move? It's beyond me, but it, it might well be that this, uh, this consumer spending spree that's been around 2022, uh, 2023 may disappear in 2024. Let me tell you, a year ago, I looked at something like restaurant sales. They were up by nearly 10 percent from a year ago, final quarter of 2022. So I said to myself, well, my goodness, by the final quarter of this year, restaurant sales will be lucky to grow by 5 percent. Guess what? They're still growing by nearly 10%. Yeah. So there was perhaps more excess cash out there uh, lingering around because of the massive stimulus. So final question, it all comes back to the election coming up in 2024. Is by the by November of 2024, by the time of the election, uh, are are we going to see a good economy what people feel better about the economy then than they do now or could it be worse? I think it's going to be worse. I think this is going to be a very rough year politically. It's going to create a lot of uncertainty. I'm a corporation. I don't really know what the tax framework is going to look like. I don't know what the regulatory framework is going to look like. Are we still going to have all of these subsidies uh, for renewable energy, for electric vehicles? Those could be gone. So I think the smart thing uh, for managers, for uh, corporate people to do is hold back on spending plans, hold back on staff, and get the election out of the way. And just by holding back, that's going to slow the economy down. And, and you it's think to, consumers are going to have to slow down because they're, they're running out of credit? I would think so. And the uh, sooner consumers pull back on spending, the milder the next recession will be. It seems as the lo longer they hold off on cutting back on spending, interest rates stay higher for longer. And when that downturn comes, it's going to hurt, but perhaps not as bad as Harry Dent thinks. The Oracle, John Lonsky. Thank you very much, well, John. Well, thank Great you, David. Great to see you. Happy holidays.